My name is Parker. This is Backyard Barn Finds. Today we're at one of the largest Volkswagen junkyards in the world and we're going to give you guys a personal tour. So I'm standing here with Larry and Larry, you uh, kind of know everything about this property. You've been kind of here since you were about 13 years old. Is yes, that right? Yeah, I've been here since I was about 13. I used to work for the gentleman and owned this property originally. He was a collector. Okay. He collected all these cars. Me and him would go out on weekends and we just pull Volkswagens back all weekend long. And he'd pay 50, 100 bucks for them. And the collection you see in front of you is the collection he acquired over from the period of like 1974 through about three years ago, he stopped. Finally, stopped doing it. He got sick, unfortunately, and he passed away. It was a. Are all these cars for sale, or are they not every, for sale? Everything here is for sale. There are a lot that's going to be crushed. We have tons of parts available. We have everything here you see is up for sale. There, are, some of them are salvageable, some of them are not so salvageable. But we have everything here that you could possibly want from a 1967, 68 Volkswagen Bug, through 79 from 1968 bus through 1979 we got parts we got interiors we got everything you could possibly want here it's just an unbelievable collection i'm standing here i'm looking at you but i can't miss the bus full of wheels right behind you do you mind if we just start here yeah no that's fine what, what can you tell us about uh, this <laughs> it was dry storage for this gentleman this is a lot of what he did he would take parts and he would save the the better the better rims and he would put them in containers and he would keep them you got Tons of wheels laying over here on the side, and some of the reels are from 1950s all the way through up till 1979. I tried to open the door, it didn't work. It was no, <laughs> no. For some reason, he locked most of these ah, doors. That one's Don't locked. know why. <laughs> that one's locked too. Oh but my. yeah, you, like I said, you can see these are like later wheels. Yeah, these are, are very early wheels right here. These are going for a ton of money right now on the open market. But you can see what kind of condition they're in. You clean them up, put them back together. Some now of the wheels I, are collectible wheels in there. I am not a Volkswagen guru. I don't know much about Volkswagens. And that's partly why we're here, because Larry Larry's kind of knows everything about these cars. Um, when you say they have value, would they, would these have been on like a Porsche too, or would that have just been a they, Volkswagen? They did, they did switch over Porsche. Porsche and Volkswagen were pretty much interchangeable in the early days. Okay. In the later days, after the 70s, they started going away from one another. Ferdinand Porsche and Adolf Hitler originally invented the Volkswagen together. Right, the people's that's, car. Yeah, that's the way it started, the people's car. And they produced Beetles all the way up until 2003, down in Mexico still. Oh, I didn't and know that. And they, they had them with air conditioning, they had them with power brakes, everything. Whoop. Oh, that's okay. I'm just tripping over As you, <laughs> I, I wanted to see inside. You yeah. Want, want to give them a, a shot of the in, inside here. Yeah, I mean, it's, where, un, where it's unbelievable what people a... save. Now, did this... This bus has wood up top here. Is that yeah. common, or was that? Yes. Yeah, it was common on the regular standard regular standard buses. They weren't camper buses at that point. Okay. There were different variations of the campers. There are different variations of the transporters. This one here is a 1971, 72, somewhere around there. I could tell just by the bottom low lights, it could be all the way down to a 69. I could tell by the rims, it's either a 68 or a 69. Okay. Like so the rim you're looking at there, the rim is on there. So you're saying these rims right here are a 68? Yep, that's, or a that's an indicator. Okay. And that's then an the indicator of the, the years. On the front of it, you said the low lights. What does that mean? The low <laughs> turn signal lights down there. Oh, these down here. Yep. The low turn signal lights will indicate an earlier bus. Okay. And then we also have a lot more buses to kind of go through down there. Oh, yeah. We have a, a couple special Volkswagen Beetles that you wanted to tell me about. Yeah, back are, in the corner back here. green over here. And I... I never even knew that was a thing. Yeah. Volkswagen did special limited editions. Have you ever seen a Volkswagen uh, Jetta running around? Different color doors, different color hood, different color. That was a special edition Volkswagen. And they only made a certain number of them. I forget what that's called, but I saw it at H2OI in Ocean City a few years back. Yeah, they're weirdest colored cars, but <laughs> they're just like these, neon green. You don't see neon green bugs anywhere. Now this one over here is even more rare than this one here just because of the decals on it. Okay. Because it's, but you can see the condition of it, unfortunately. It's not too far gone. Someone can restore this, but that's up to their abilities. 
And you were saying that this is like, uh, they, they painted like one of these out of every 15. One, one out of every 15,000 was painted that color. In now the what, what year would this beetle be? That would have been a 73, 74. A 73, Those 74. are two years. And they also came with different rims, like this brown colored bug next to you here. The rims on that bug, because that is what that is, that's a limited edition Volkswagen, just oh, because of the rims. Okay. And this would have been probably a 73 or 42? Or? Yeah, okay. yeah, right around the same years. They did limited numbers of runs of different kinds, like the Volkswagen buses. They did pop tops that went one way, which was a Campmobile, another way, which was a, which was a Westphalia. Then they had ones that popped straight up, which are Rivieras. They have other ones that popped sideways that are accordions. It's just, the variations were amazing. Now this one says sold. Omar. Yep, that one's already sold to, to a customer. What What are the, the prices? Of um, every bug right now, he's got it $500. So it doesn't matter the condition? Yep, $500 or bucks. best offer. Oh, okay. You come up, you make your decision, you know. it's. So these could be a deal. It could it, be. I don't know much about them, but I'm just saying right. that, they're that if they're rare, they could yeah. be some yeah, sort of Yeah, if someone knows their Volkswagen, they come walking through here. I've seen a lot of people come walking through here, and they don't know nothing about Volkswagen. They just always love them. Well, can I rebuild one? Sure you can. Anyone can rebuild one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know a lot of people back where I live back home that are into them. They're not the fastest car, but no. they definitely are fun. No, I think top speed on most of them were 58, 59 mile an hour. That was it. <laughs> what, are, what are some of the other Beetles as we walk through here? Well, we got some late model Beetles here. You look over that way, the ones with the hoop bumpers on them. They're uh, mid-60s. They got to be 64, 66. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, with the glass headlights. See, that one just looks. Yeah, and they're so far gone, it's unfortunate. That one just looks cooler. Yeah. Because I guess you're right, because it is. Yeah, it's a totally a, different headlight here. Yeah, and you can see by the rim, same thing. It's got to be an. It's got to be an older one. It's five lug rim on it. That's got to be 67, 68. Somewhere around there, you can tell differences with deck lids with the. Uh, Want to come take a look at the rim, right? With the top of the turn signals on top of the fenders. The headlights, you, that's how you tell the differences of them from the years. Now, I do know that there's like Super Beetles and yes. regular Beetles. Super Beetles didn't start till 71, 72. The difference is these have front axle beams in them. Okay. That you can contort and do whatever you want to do to them. You can make them lowered. You can do whatever you want. But then when you got over to Super Beetle and they got away from that front end and went to a coilover suspension front end instead of a torque, instead of a torque front end. Uh, Torque bar, tor torsion bar, sorry. And, and what year again did you say that was? 71, 72. 71, 72. Yeah, it was like a late year change. And do you have any Super Beetles in these rows or anything? Yes, or? there's an orange one right there. Yeah, we'll take a look you at You can that tell one. by the curved windshields immediately. Oh, there's, okay, so that's the like The older a, ones were the all flat windshields. That's like a giveaway. Is Yeah, the, it's a dead is, giveaway. Is, when you see the curved windshield guaranteed, that's a Super Beetle. Right here. Yep. And now, then you can also tell by interiors, like the dashes. The dashes got bigger in the... In the Newer one? style ones, I don't think that one will open. It might on the other side, but you can tell, yeah, this one's open. You can tell by the steering wheel, you can oh, tell by okay. the dashboard. You got a bigger, wider dashboard in there. And on the older ones, they're just a flat little tiny dash, maybe like an inch, that's it. Now, out of the Beetles that kind of are around us right now, you said you help the owner kind of buy these things, yeah. right? Yeah, I would go with them at the, at the age of 13. And what we'd do is take a tow bar with us, four tires on rims that are already blown up. We'd go free up the brakes and we'd put it on tow bar, tow it back. Do you remember any of these beetles or anything? I remember a couple of these in the back row here. That <laughs> you want to tell that, us a story about that, one that of those? That me and or? him picked up. Sure, yeah. Yeah, and I think these, uh, the two white ones right next door to one another, these two? They, came out of, uh, they came out of White Haven, Pennsylvania. Okay. And a little old lady, she just had him laying in the backyard. He, me and him would just go out for rides, and you cannot drive around this area and find a Volkswagen laying in anyone's yard anywhere. They're gone. They're all here. They're all here. Yep. <laughs> he, he cornered the market. <laughs> he was the guy. Yeah, he was the man. If now, you, I'm looking if you at knew, this If you one. knew Jay Schmidt, then you know how to get your hands on a Volkswagen. This one's got some interesting seat yeah. cushions to them. Or weave pattern on here is this like a that's a different just a different variation was that like an option back then or? it was an option an back option? then okay that's like a lot of them were semi-automatics if you look inside down there there were still there were three speeds instead of four speeds okay and there was a button on the shifter <laughs> you had to hold the button in push it into push it into first gear and you didn't even have to do nothing with the clutch just step on the gas let the button out and go 
Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, they are, they're, they're strange little machines. I, they're simple, that's the reason I love them so much. So They're super, super simple. No curved windshield in this one, so this one's before 1971. Yeah, that right? one's gotta be a 70, 71. I think they didn't switch the windshields over till like 73 or 74 is when they started going with the curved windshields. Okay. And you see how the dash is way smaller in that one. I did see how it was smaller yeah. in that one. Yeah, and, uh, and the steering wheel's different. Yes, it is way yes. different than that one. Yeah, because that is a big old plastic steering wheel in it. There's, these all things, I've the one with the little curve in them that you can push the buttons. What is what is some of your favorite um, things to do here in the junkyard? I <laughs> come here and get completely confused because there's just <laughs> way too much to look at. There's well, so much me, here, it's ridiculous. You were telling me that you like kind of looking at the old stickers. And yeah, old... I, I love the old stickers, the old Grateful Dead stickers and all the, and all the things. It just kind of makes me smile knowing it. You know, even back then, there were deadheads still running around. There still are these days, but... Like, here's one right here. It's not a deadhead sticker, but it's yeah, it's Hot, high. hot, that's, hot V Dubs magazine. That's, a, that's one of the magazines. Okay. That may or may not, it, maybe some of you just liked it, but there's a lot of cars that did have them on there that they actually got a plaque from Hot V Dubs because they went to a show. Oh. Uh, yeah, because there's shows everywhere for them. Now this this piece right here, this rain guard for yeah. the window, was that an option? That was an that aftermarket. Aftermarket. Yep. Aftermarket. Yeah, you'll see tons of them. Here, tons of them here. Uh, this another had... option for the Beatles was pop out windows in the rear. Oh. They had pop out windows so you can get better ventilation. Okay. Because uh, there wasn't there was not a lot of heat in these vehicles, and there was definitely no air conditioning. <laughs> I'm just I'm overwhelmed. I've never seen so many Beatles. Yeah, it's it's it one, is in one place. It's 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 very overwhelming. It's. I come here every day, and by the time I get done with my two hours that I work here part-time, I'm <laughs> out of my mind by the time I leave here. Because you'll see, once we get all the way through, I'll take you inside the warehouse and show you the mass amount of parts that he collected also. Okay. And when I was building motors back in the 90s, I'd come home and ask him for parts. The guy was such, uh, I don't know how to say it, articulate man, sure. that he would tell me, okay, no problem, these are the parts you need, I'll go to J.C. Whitney and order you the parts, which J.C. Whitney is now closed. Sure. He'd order me to parts, take them up here. Well, after he passed away and I finally got my hands into this pile, I all the parts were here. It just, I don't know why. Now, you said you rebuilt engines. Was that yes. Volkswagen engines only? Yes. Okay. Yes, so I actually, Volkswagen got me in a Harley Davidson because oh. there, because you take a Volkswagen motor, switch it on the side, take two cylinders away, that's a, that's a Harley Basically motor. Basically the same thing. Yeah, the only difference is their feet. I totally, totally understand. Do most of these have their engines in it? I haven't even yes. looked. Yes, most of them have original drivetrains in them. Complete. Oh, Probably yeah, not thing. turn or anything else. The more likely they're locked up, but looks, yes. they're all here. Generally, everything's here. If it's not, we corroded. do have a ton of motors laying around on the side. So if someone needed seats or glass or anything like that. We I have mean, most of that already out of the vehicles. Oh, you do? Yes, but okay. at some point, we are going to start crushing vehicles. The boss wants to start taking the collection down and start keeping the better ones around and see if we can make good, find good homes for them. Okay. And once we do, he's, he wants to eventually get rid of this whole thing. He wants it all to go away. He doesn't want any Volkswagens on his property. Now, I talked to someone before and they said something about like a, this, this grill or something has yes. something to do with like a Super Beetle or something. Yes. Is yeah, that, that's, that, that would be the Super Beetle grill on the front end. Okay. Because the, as you see here. But this one does not have the curved windshield. Right, this is the early model. The early model? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can see, now you, you started getting into the, you can see the steering wheel change in there. You can also see the dash started getting a little bit bigger. Not a whole yeah, lot. You're right, the yeah, steering the steering wheel, is, wheel change, that's what, that's what indicates different. the Super Beetles. It just has like a cheaper steering wheel almost. Yeah. It's kind of the way I would. Yeah, they kind of they kind of went another direction. If you look at this one right here next to it, it's got the different steering wheel in it. It's got the older style with the Wolfsburg West symbol in it. That's the kind of steering wheel that I... Yeah, the Wolfsburg steering wheels, they're the cooler ones. I, I yeah. really dig those. They are the cooler ones. Yeah. Yeah. And like a lot of these sunroof clips like this, uh -huh. even if we're going to trash a car, we're cutting the tops completely off and trying to save these. Are these rare? For people, yes. These are rare. Yeah, you okay. can't find these no more. Gotcha. That's like there's also a full, like? a full version of them with a rollback in it, but they're in the older vehicles. We don't have, we have one clip here with that in it. That's it. Okay. But it was a full roof that just came right back. You think you'd be able to show us that? Or? Yeah, that's down the other side down there. Okay. 
All right. Well, let's kind of keep on moving down the row here. And All right. There's one convertible here I see. Is this anything special? Or? Uh, no, it's just a 78 convertible. Uh, the gentleman had already purchased it. Oh, it's sold. Yeah, that one sold already. Okay. Uh, like I said, there is a lot here and a lot of 70s, a real lot of 70s. 70s and up are most of what we have. There are some older ones way down the bottom that I'll show you in a little while. Okay. But those are those are the old old ones. We're asking a little bit more money for them just because of the rarity of them. So other other than Beatles, what else what else is here on the property? Ah, uh, we do have Volkswagen buses. We got Volkswagen slantbacks. We have Volkswagen squarebacks. We got 412s, which are just a weird, strange car. But people are really starting to fall in love with them. Huh. I don't. Know I'll show I'm... you ones right over here. Okay. But this is what I was talking about: pop out windows right here. It came as an option on the car. That car's a little beat. But this is what oh, gives you your ventilation. Okay. Wow. Cool. And those are getting rare. Even you, probably the brackets and the pieces right. back here are probably yeah. hard to find. Yeah, you're starting to, they're starting to get harder and harder to find. Now, is this a place that anyone can just come and visit? Uh, the hours are 9 to 3, Monday through Friday. Okay. He's starting to get to the point where he would like to be open Saturdays. And I think as soon as the weather breaks, that's going to happen. We're going to be open uh, 10 a.m. till like 2 or 3 p.m. Okay. That would give everybody a chance to be able to get up here if they like. And I see a lot of sawdust on some of the cars. You guys just cutting down. The yeah, trees he's clearing the property. Clearing the property. Now look at these right here. The old Hella. Those they are just little reflectors on the back. Oh. Those are getting super, super hard to find. And they're just sitting here. You can buy a set online, 150 to 250 dollars, depending on condition. Okay. But they're sitting here. <laughs> it, it amazes me. I, you know what? I don't think that I've ever seen those before. Yeah. On a, on a beetle. Now, we're looking at the backs of these. Yes. This is different. Yep. Than this one. So this. Yeah. One, this this will indicate, like, mid seventies to late seventies. This one should be, like seventy one down through seventy. That's right around there. You got other ones down there that are all red. Okay. Those are sixty eight, sixty nines. They, that's how you can tell, like, when you're looking around, difference in the Beatles, like the years. I figured since you were the guy that was here since 13, <laughs> you would have the most experience I, yeah, with, I definitely, with these. Yeah, I definitely know the property. What, uh, what, you got what all is these... your favorite section here? I love the buses. I'm, you love the buses? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a nut. I just bought a 74 from here. Okay. I came from California. It's in really good shape. Well, Motor's blown, but... Don't matter. We'll go over to the buses right now. We're going to walk through the rabbit section here, it looks like. Yep. Um, but what is this bus? This is, I don't remember what they called this because of these. Oh, it has I, a stripe on it. Yeah, okay. I think that might be what they called, uh, hmm, I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. That but was a pretty cool bus back Yeah, there was day. a name. Like some of these buses came with sunroofs in them, okay. full-length sunroofs up over to the passenger section. And I see the VIN number here. Yeah, they got the VINs up front. Did they say anything special, do you know, in the VINs? It, it, can, it can tell you a lot more about the bus. Okay. And there's also a plate either, I think it's on the passenger side or on the driver's side, there's an actual VIN plate inside the bus that will give you what options came on the bus, what it was actually made as to try and change it back to what it was. Do you think this one has it on or can we? It can may, we... if not, I know there's definitely a bus or two over there that yeah, I can we'll, find one. We'll take a look at one over there. I just wanted to see what parts were in this one because it has just looks like it just like has Volkswagen a, engines in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were storage vehicles. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, but it's a good thing though because he kept it all in dry storage. That is so cool. So if there's a lot of stuff that you needed, it he has it here. All right, let's keep on the move. Let's we'll take a walk over towards the bus section. Like that bus right there is filled with nothing but steering wheels. <laughs> it, it's it's now, a little craziness you were saying that the owner doesn't have or they uh the family that owned this prior took away all of the the split window buses, yeah they took all the all the old old stuff and took it home and kept it which great for the family that's yeah, exactly totally what i understand yeah that's exactly what the, they wanted the rare stuff the more expensive yeah. stuff what i mean by that is in 67 that was the last year for the split window with the pop out. Yeah, 67 down to, uh, I believe they started making them in 64. Okay. If I'm almost positive. And then? And then they made different variations of them. They made the trucks, they made a single cab truck, a double cab truck. Probably they actually this. built fire engines out of them. They built, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's insanity. 
<laughs> He's not lying. It's all steering wheels in there. <laughs> no, it's it, it's crazy what we got to go. What what we're gonna have end up having to do it. They're all steering columns, steering columns and steering wheels. Now this is a four twelve that I was telling you. Yeah, I don't know what a four twelve is. A two door four twelve. It's that's... still it's still a Volkswagen, but it's a Volkswagen wagon. I don't remember the years. I think they made them later 70s i'm not positive on these on this actual item because i never really got into these and this is another one too right yeah that's a 412 also that's a 412 slant back let's see if we can go around the other side and there is uh demand for these things like it's crazy even parts i have people call me for windshields i said if they start crushing them i can get you a windshield a 412 i don't know if i've ever even heard of a 412 yeah. Volkswagen ever yeah, you got the stamps back here. A lot of people rip these things off. Yeah, you're right. There was a lot of theft up here. I would imagine. People, yeah, people were coming through the yard in the middle of the night with, with just screwdrivers and taking emblems and. So it says Volkswagen or VW 412. That's. I'll show this. you before we, before you get out of here in my car. I guess is there air cooled. Yeah, yeah. The motor's in the back. Oh, it's only two doors. Yeah, yeah. It's a two door wagon. They're they're just neat strings. Well, no wonder they're pretty cool. Then. Strange little birds. <laughs> yeah. But people are making them. Like if you look up videos for four twelves out in California, like that was an aftermarket thing. That roof rack I was on top. Say, this roof rack's definitely got to be. Similar. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's just something neat that people were putting on their cars at the time. It's even got moss in it growing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got buses filled with nothing but seats. This is just unbelievable. Larry. Yeah, there's there's so much here. It's it's ridiculous. What is, uh, if somebody needed some Volkswagen seats, what would they go for? We could sell them $40 up, $40. depending on condition. There you guys go. Hey, yeah. we're, we're not giving it away, but we're not, we're not charging top dollar for anything. That didn't sound like that was too expensive for a pair no. of seats to me. And look here, you got parts just laying on the ground. It's, it's unbelievable. So out of this whole section of all of these buses, which one would you say is your favorite? Uh, there's one right down there with a camper top on it. It's kind of painted Rasta colors. Can we go take a look at I it? I met the gentleman. He came up here, and he was looking for a speaker that he built back in the 70s. Oh, so he had it first. And yeah, then it, and then... it, it, it made its way here. Okay. And, of course, there's Grateful Dead stickers on it. I actually seen this bus on tour. Really? <laughs> on, on one of the back dead in, Yeah, dead back in tours. the 90s. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I, I met him more than once. More than one time. He came so up this... here, and me and him got talking, and <laughs> it's just strange how that works. People kind of went through it. It was a time capsule because it was completely locked. It says Grateful Dead. And... Yeah. This one was a complete time capsule. I mean, this guy was a hippie. He still is a hippie. <laughs> it's just un unbelievable. I'll get you a view on the top up here. It's some sort of... Uh... Yeah, it's a pop top. That's a camper top for it. This one, the way it pops up, it pops towards the front of the bus, towards, this way. Towards the front? Yeah, and okay. there's a cot up top. There's ones that pop up, the green and white one here. So you saw the guy basically living in this thing. Oh, yeah. I lived in one for five years. For five years? Yes, oh, wow. five years. I followed Jerry around and had a great time. I don't remember most of it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another story. That's how you know. Speaking of Jerry, there he is right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah, this, uh, thing, this thing was a time capsule. There was... Time, there was uh, Peace signs hanging all in it and stuff. Is this a bowling bag? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty pimped out. Yeah, I like that. I guess you hang your clothes or a curtain right here. I mean, look at the. Yeah, this was, a, this was a camp mobile is what they called these ones. I was trying to see what it smelled like in here. <laughs> yeah. You might not want to do that. <laughs> but I mean, even the carpet is pretty cool. But even same way with the buses, you could tell the year of the bus by the taillights. Hold on a second, we're kind of just uh, oh no, take your time taking it all in in here. They got speakers, it's got cabinet doors, it's got the 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 seat in the back folds into a full length bed. Okay, and that's where you slept right over top of the motor compartment. And then there's the pop out section up in there. These are definitely different and cool. I love them. I, I, I'm, I got a soft spot in my heart for these things. The Beatles I like, but these things I'm absolutely in love with. So I've been, what, what were you saying about the, the taillights when I was The taillights are different. Like this one, you can tell this is the later 70s because of the size of the taillights. Oh, the ones okay. right there, that's an early 70s. That's between 68 to 71 had them. Okay. After 71, I switched over to the big switched taillights. 
that's kind of how you can have an idea and scope on what you're looking at when you look at the buses. This one looks like it just has wheels in it also. Yeah, that one's all filled with rims. Well, if you got a dollar a rim, you'd be doing it. Good. <laughs> right. <laughs> this one's got seats in it. And, and that's what he just used them for is storage? Yeah, mostly storage. You know what I like? I just like the colors. Yeah. You know, I go to a lot of junkyards and you see a lot of different kind of cars, but like. Yeah, Volkswagen, just, Volkswagen did a good job painting all different colors. They definitely had a, it, I mean, a it just color looks like palette a, that stretched the rainbow. Yeah, it just looks like a rainbow going down through there. It's pretty, pretty freaking sweet. You want to go to the front and see what it looks like on the front sure. side? Sure. A lot of them came with, like you see the curtains and this orange one on the back. This is one of the hard top campers. I wouldn't get too close to that one. It looks like it's it might, <laughs> put, it might fall put up in the air like that. Because someone took the front end and bond the front end out of this thing. Okay. Because it was in decent shape. But yeah, well, this, what were you this, was, about the curtains? this was a camper. Okay. In behind that cabinet right there, you got curtains. And they all had curtains that went around all the windows in the back. They had a curtain that snapped it around the front. A lot of them, like this one, if you look on the windshield right there, there's a little clip right in the front. Uh -huh. That little brown clip. You'd hook a child's cot up in there. That's where a kid could sleep, right over the, right over the front seats. Yeah, the bus over there, the Grateful Dead one, it had uh, the same kind of... Yeah, the cabinets cabin, and everything. Yeah, this is this a hardtop camper. Okay. So they made the hardtop campers. Then you got the Vanagons. And these, this is the Vanagon Which were here, right? uh, 80, 81 through 83 were still air-cooled. 83 and up, they started switching to water boxes, actually having water in the systems. Do these have any value or? They do. There is, there is a growing, growing demand for them. Okay. This one's kind of. And there's also one that there's not one here, unfortunately. Because if there was, I would have taken it anyway. It's called a Synchro. The only four-wheel drive bus they ever made. Interesting. And they are amazing. And the prices are out of this world on them. Do they look the same? They look exactly the same. Okay. The only difference is the drivetrains. Okay. Yeah, the drivetrains are four-wheel drive, and they're just, they, people go crazy over them. I think we should walk by the front of these buses, because that looks like that could be a Carmen Ghia section. Yes, it is. Over there. Yeah. Yeah, there's Carmen spread out through the property. Okay. And is that <laughs> another that's a, 412? That's a, that's a square back. That's a square back That's a square back Volkswagen. Okay. The 412s are also the Volkswagens, but that's a square back what they consider. There's more down the bottom. There's a couple more spread out in the back over there. And, what and is, there's a cult for them. What is that car right there? The red? I, I think that's a Dasher. A Dasher? Yeah. Those are, I'm not too familiar with these. That's like Let's this go, silver one here also. It. Same car. I, or a Fox. The reason I'm the asking other? is because I... I don't think I've seen one before. Yeah, they're, they're, they weren't made. I don't think they made a lot of them. Like I said, I'm not too much into the water cold side of things. Yeah, there, uh, there's also a following for these things too. They're just strange. And I think this one's a diesel. Let me take a look at that. Nope, that's a, that's a gasoline motor. That's pretty spacious in there. Yeah, yeah, a little four cylinder. They didn't get away yeah. from the four cylinders too much. Yeah, this is a Dasher. A Dasher, I'm gonna yep. take a look at that logo. Yeah, that's right a dasher. That orange one back there is a dasher. Dasher, fuel yep. injected. These things probably rusted away before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good possibility. All right, just look at... How could you be upset if you just got to look at that every day, right? Yeah, I know. That's, I, that guy had to be in heaven. <laughs> but as you've seen in the other video that I was telling you about, yep. if you walked onto this property, the gentleman actually lived two houses over that direction, uh -huh. he would know you were here somehow. Never had cameras, nothing. But he knew you were here. If yeah. somebody went, came onto his property, he must have saw them coming up the driveway. Yeah. Walked right over. What are you doing here? What do you want? Oh. Did he have dogs <laughs> at all? Nope. Interesting. Now there's a bunch of security on the property, so hopefully that helps out a little bit. Absolutely. So now we're in the the, the Carmen. Well, I guess it's just the Beatles. <laughs> with it's Beatles. It's Carmen. <laughs> I, I, I'm still, I want to take that. War pig bug right there, out of there, and just put it in a yard somewhere, just because it's so cool. Let's go. Let's go talk about. Somebody that. had the idea about that. What? What exactly is? Is this a special beetle or is no? It, you no. Just like somebody. Yeah, you somebody like, just graffitied it up, and that's the way they drove it around. The war pig. Yep. That is pretty neat. <laughs> There was this one here a sunroof car. that had, uh, yeah, that looks like it had the, had the rollback roof in it, but that was probably put in aftermarket. 
Interesting. Or they just chopped it up and did it themselves. Yeah, I think they might have just chopped this one and did it themselves. <laughs> a lot of people did that to these. They made Baja bugs out of them. They chopped the rear the rear quarters off. They took the front fenders off, put all fiberglass on, tried to make them lighter for out in the woods. And then that is a Corrado? I believe that might be a Corrado. Those are getting weir weird and rare, and there's a bunch, there's a couple of them up here, not many. Looks like an early one or something. That might be a Scirocco. Someone will probably correct a Scirocco. So yeah, yeah, that might be a Scirocco. I think it is, actually. I was yeah, I'm sure someone that, will but... correct a lot of stuff that I say <laughs> on here, which is okay. Like I said, I'm, I, I like knowledge. Let's, let's just take a walk through here, because, oh my goodness. Yeah, you got Carmen's laying here. I, I, I think Carmen Gia's are, I, I really think they're a beautiful car. I yeah. think they're severely underpowered, but... Yeah, I mean, but you can also take one of these motors and turn them way up. Oh, you can. So you can make it better, and you can put a freeway or freeway flyer five-speed transmission in it okay. to actually keep up with the modern-day cars. It it is available. It has been available for a while. Now, is there a quick way to tell like the years between Carmen Gia's at all? Carmen's, or? I'm not exactly positive. I know this is an older one just by the taillights. Just by the taillights. Yeah, because this is the taillight for it. Okay. And I know they're definitely older. This has to be in the '60s. Late 60s, more than likely, I would guess. There are Carmen convertibles down in there, which is at. buried. Yeah. Those are just the most super cool cars. I've seen them in movies. Like, look at that Carmen gear right there. Doesn't that just look beautiful, even though it's that's halfway? That's an older one. That's got to be late, early, like late 60s, mid 60s, somewhere around there. And there's gentlemen out there that just want those. That's all they want. We'll go look at that convertible over there, but was this a convertible first or no? This no. Someone, <laughs> it just got chopped up. Yeah, someone chopped that off, turned it, this into a sled or something. And he did save lots of <laughs> lots of roof clips. He saved all kinds of stuff. Like if it was worth something, he saved it. And he just got 60s, late 60s, early 70 Beatles here, late 70 Beatles mixed in. He's trying to read Temple University. So these are all <laughs> local cars. Yeah. University of Scranton. Yeah, like I said, we used to go around on weekends it uh, says berkeley on it though <laughs> back when i was a kid my dad brought me over here at 13 years old dropped me off to this gentleman and said here free childhood labor and i worked for this guy for three years for free i gained a ton of knowledge i'm sure you did yes probably got your mechanical skills up too yes yes oh yeah just taking these things apart and putting them back together and I they're mean. the simplest motors in the whole world <laughs> you got a crank you got a cam you got heads and that's all you have and they run amazing if you can keep them going there's a Gia convertible. Look at this one. This has a Van Halen sticker from 1984. <laughs> it says Tour of the World. Just That's my most favorite part of walking awesome. around the yard, just seeing all the stickers that everybody put on their cars. Well, this one has Goodwin on the back or Godwin yeah, or something Goodwin. like that. Goodwin and Volkswagen. This one, this one also has Goodwin on Yep, on Goodwin it was a local dealership. That was the local one. Local one down in Kingston. Okay. I've actually taken emblems off of cars and sold just emblems to people who live around the country that used to live here. Because they wanted one for their beetle. The good, the good one stuff. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through that. They'll way. take them and they'll they'll read they'll read chrome them and put them on their vehicles. Just to, that way they got a little piece of home with them. Now what is what is this on the back of this seat? Hold on one second. Let me crawl over there. I don't know. <laughs> Someone a, had it recovered. That is like a boat scene. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess they recovered the. Yeah. Someone had it recovered at some point in his <laughs> life and used probably curtains to, <laughs> to fill in the empty space. I wasn't sure if that was some special beetle no. thing or uh. not. I guess not because that says Constitution on it. These are yeah. Just, like you German said, the colors. rainbow of colors. It's just, <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Like oh, the this? yellow ones. I don't want to be here when he starts crushing. Just the yellow ones in particular. Because one out of every 10,000 yellow was painted yellow, and it just, it, it's gonna make me cry. I don't even wanna be here for that. Oh, I understand that. Like that, <laughs> this one right here, yep. this yellow one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and they're rare birds, and people don't know it. I mean, there's nothing really special about them except the color. Now, I see this one also has a VIN tag on the front. Yep. Were there any other tags on these beetles? Anywhere? There were. If, where you were just looking. Where I was just right, looking. Where you were just looking, right on top of the tunnel. There's get a tunnel the, back there. Get this out of here. There's also, you can tell the VIN, if you can't find a VIN plate up top, there's a VIN number stamped right here also. Oh, there's, I never knew, okay. Yeah, the VIN, VIN number stamped right there also. That way they could, that way they could chase this. There is, because you, that is the structural core of this car. 
Yeah. That centerpiece going through there. Yeah, I mean, they used to make Baja Bugs out of yeah. these. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of kit cars that you can... Uh, they yeah, you can make buggies the, out yeah, of them. You can, they, 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 the yeah, you can they do it. They make Bugatti kit cars made yeah. out of Volkswagen. Bradley GTs. Yeah, the, everything. The gazelles. Yeah. The, they were such a good good form, and like it, it was a great place to start, the way they designed it. Now, the Carmen Convertible, were they pretty rare back in the day? Or they didn't make a whole lot of didn't them. Didn't make a whole lot. This one's really far gone. Yeah, that was... And the sad part is, as long as that tunnel's in good shape in the middle, you can rebuild everything else. They make all the pieces? Yeah. Oh, they do? Yes. There are still manufacturers out there that produce every piece for every one of these vehicles. I'll show you later. There's floor pans in there. Unfortunately, I just know that Volkswagens don't bring a whole, whole lot in value. It depends. It depends what it is. Like, the years. Years make a big difference. Okay. Like, I've been what? looking for a 63 convertible my whole life. Your whole life? I find them out on the West Coast, and they're about 15 grand out there. Find them here on the East Coast, you're looking at 40, 50. Okay, just because they the, the way. The, Volks, the Volkswagen 23 window buses. Oh, of course. Bring big, big money. Yeah, Volkswagen double cab buses, the old split windows. The old, older they are, the better the price is. I've seen uh, they made them over in Argentina for a while. Or Brazil. Something. Brazil to, yep. to go through the mountains and yeah. tour and stuff. I oh, re yeah. remember reading about that. Yeah, the old split window buses, they used to use them in the deserts. Because they had no water in them. Okay. And they could, they, they, as long as you kept them running right and kept the, kept the fans blowing over the motors. Larry, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> That's I happens every day to me. I, I start in this place and I lose myself as soon as I start. All I'm seeing which is, is a uh, good thing. What's that yellow Volkswagen over there? That's another Dasher, I believe. Well, it's got a different front end to it. Yeah. Yeah, that's an older one. That there's are, there are uh, variations like 411s. Okay. 412s. A lot of people get confused because they hear 412 and they automatically think Porsche because it was 412 Porsches. That's what I thought it was of. also 412 as, Volkswagen. As soon as you said it, that's what I that thought That bug of. you got your hand on right now? Yes, this one. I went to the ski resorts of that bug about 80, 90 times when I was a kid. That was my brother's bug. This one? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to save it, but it is bad. It is gone. Yeah, we, we, beat, we beat that thing pretty good. But every one of us boys, we had four boys in the family, all four of us all got Volkswagen Bugs as our first vehicle. What is... And like you got that thing laying on the ground. Looks don't, like some don't, sort I, of train. I'm assuming that's from a train. Yeah, that's from yeah. a train. <laughs> that's a rare piece just laying there doing nothing. Well, what I wanted to look at is the flames. Who yeah. Did, who did the flames Yeah, we on did it? the flames ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it has, it has flames on it down the side. Yeah, we did the this flames side, ourselves. This side it was a just bit. a cool little... That's my brother's first car. And my older brother, that was his first car. No heat in it. We Is that ran just it. Just a, a rim flip. Yeah, we put the weird rims on it. <laughs> yeah, you just flipped it backwards on yeah. that. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> the kids do stupid things. Yeah, the first seat covers on her. I bet they were warm. Yeah, well, that's the only warmth you had <laughs> in that thing. We didn't have the, the correct, everything going correctly to be able to have heat in this. I know how to make them work now. As a kid, I, did, I had no idea. And how old were you whenever you would have ridden in this? I was about 13, 14. And what year? I'm sorry, that probably date you. I'm thinking uh, probably 83, 84. 83, 84, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm old. No, no, no. <laughs> it, just, it happens. I just, I just, I'm amazed know, I lived this long, I, to be honest The reason I'm asking is because I'm Especially driving in that death trap. I'm looking at this Beetle, and to be honest with you, I can't tell the year because it has no lights. Yeah, that's a 70 or a 71. Got, yeah, it's got the front flat yep. windshield. Yeah, flat window. Now, what would this have cost you guys back when you oh, were Oh, we were kids? buying them for three, four hundred bucks. Three, four hundred bucks. Yeah, uh, they were everywhere. Okay. They made millions of these things. Yeah, I, I, they're one of them. I don't know if they are the most produced vehicle. I think, yeah, I think yeah, they it's are. Still, th still in this world today. They're still one of the most produced because they ran until 2003 down in Mexico. And what? what? In 96, they stopped making the bug in Brazil. So these buses have a, a price tag of eight hundred and fifty. Eight hundred fifty or best offer. Now, do these cars have titles to them at all? Most of them do have titles. He will put salvage on there. You'll have to go and have an enhancement inspection done, which isn't a big deal. Okay. I've done a bunch of them in my lifetime. They're not that hard to do. Oh, this one looks pretty good on the inside. That one's cool on the inside. You can't get in it, unfortunately. I love the orange shag. Yeah, it does have orange shag carpet on the floor. And For some reason, he put nothing in that bus. I don't understand why. 
<coughs> difficult to see. But then if you can get... I like the color of this one. This yellow just kind of stands out to you in the junkyard. And then if you go on this bus, oh, it is filled with nothing but glass. That is heavy. <laughs> that is a super heavy bus. No wonder it's sinking a it's little bit It's filled with nothing but bug glass, beetle glass. Uh, it's got bus glass. It's got pop-out windows in there. Out of this world pop-out windows. Oh, yeah. I see them all the way in the Yeah, they're all the way in the front seat. There's pop-out windows everywhere inside this bus. For years, mostly only going down to 67 to 66. And these are the, the curtains that you were telling yeah. me about, right? Yep. There's more down here, too. These are the newer style buses because yep. the taillights. Yeah. We'll see if you can. Now, if somebody wanted like just like a hood. Yeah, with every anything. What would, what would that run? Take a walk over here, look at the back of that trailer. Where do you want to go? 100, 100, 100, 100 bucks a hood. 100 bucks a hood? In that trailer, we have about 1,000 hoods. Okay. We got about 80, 90, maybe 100 pairs of doors. We'll take a look. We have. Uh, Kind of hard to get in there. That's as far as that door will open, but there should be a light on in there. And just, you can see the amount of stuff. I you said, you if know, I go in? Yeah, go ahead. Crawl up in if there. If I step on stuff and break it. That's fine. Do your best not to. <laughs> That's all I can ask. But he took all the hardware off of everything so he could stack them nice and neat. Oh yeah, they don't got no yeah, Door no hardware or nothing. nothing, so they can stack real nice, real easy. But as you can see on the floor where you crawled in there, there's door guards, there's <laughs> there's everything. It's it's unreal. Every day I come in here, I get confused by the time I leave, and then I go I go to my real job, and I'm confused there for a little while, and then I realize what I'm doing, and I go to work. And I'll be honest with you, Larry, the doors and stuff in here. They're in really, really good shape. And they, the hoods, they look like they're perfect. Yeah, they've been in dry storage for <laughs> the last 30 years. Like compared to the colors outside, I mean, these. There are a couple convertible doors in here. There are, there are square back doors up the front here. All underneath are all bug, all 60s bugs. Uh, like I said, late, earliest stuff we got is maybe 64, 65. I'm gonna hand you this. Maybe. Then outside here, if you look down the side of the trailer, you got nothing but more doors laying there. Underneath there, there's all fenders laying there. There's square back quarter panels stuffed underneath the trailer. Oh yeah, I see that. <laughs> it's unreal. The place is just, it's out of control. I don't understand. And you have I, no I idea. We, we've taken 20 dumpsters out of here. I saw, metal. I saw it before it's kind of been cleared out. Yeah. And a lot of stuff. I mean, there's probably, I mean, you were telling me there's probably 200 cars that are missing. Oh, yeah. Compared to what was here before. Yeah, I mean, if you look up underneath, up underneath here, I don't know how much of a good look you can get. Right in front of these tandems here, all that metal sticking straight up like this. Uh huh. They're all three rib channies for uh, buggies. Complete rear ends for Volkswagen buggies he saved. There's five of them laying Walk there. back that way a little bit. Yeah. yeah, inside this trailer. There's motors inside this trailer. There's, in this trailer? Yeah, in that trailer. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's just, I wouldn't suggest going in there for any reason. The very front of that trailer has nothing but old, old bumpers laying in it. I take bumpers out of here one at a time, polish them up, bring them back. They bring twice the value. Oh yeah, he did. He did have a whole bunch of yeah. There's motors on shelves. Yeah. yeah, he was it, organized. Yeah. Well, I guess for what you could say, he was organized. Sure. Well, I'm sure a lot of it moved over the last couple right. years. Yeah, and since the new gentleman took over, it's just gotten. He's taking more and more stuff out of here, which I'm trying to stop him. So he didn't. He didn't live in this thing. No. No, his house was two houses over. He okay. was able to guard the property looking out his window. All right, I guess what we'll do is... Because all this property at one point was his. I'm not sure what's here. Okay. But I know there's more than a couple acres here that he's got. Now you got 411s here. You got 412s here. They, they're just rare, rare cars that are just sitting here. You know, I just don't think I ever really... You don't see them at car shows or anything. <laughs> no. No, I mean, these I'm are sure, all the... I'm sure just like the headlight bezels and buckets are probably yeah. pretty rare if you have one and you're looking for right. one. The windshields I know you can't find nowhere. 
They don't make them aftermarket for oh, them. Oh, okay. So the windshield. And then back the... in here, if you want to take a walk down through that way. Yeah, we'll go this way. <laughs> it might be a little... I just sold a car to a girl down in Virginia. Sat right here. A 411. Rare, rare bird. You can't find those things. Is, is most of the people that buy these cars, are they women? Uh, no. They're, they're, most of them are men. Most there are, are men. some women that, are, that do like to turn wrenches. And like that girl, she was amazing. She came in, she was dirty, she was covered in grease. She was having a great time here. Sounds like my Just kind of girl. Just walking around. There's slant backs here. Those are getting more rare. That's, a, that's the old air-cooled Volkswagen. The slant backs, those are 69, 70. The slant backs are getting to be, getting to be a dying breed. You can't find them. The only thing we don't have here is notch backs. Gotcha. <laughs> I have not seen one yet. Like, and people just, for some reason, like that style. And those have the long, big, long pop-out windows in the back, too. I think most of them came with them, just like the Carmen Gears. I think most of the Carmens came with the pop-out windows. Would, would he go out of state to get Volkswagens? Because I see a lot of these have just Pennsylvania tags There's on. a lot of people that would break down here. The junk, the towing companies would call him and say, hey, you want this Volkswagen? Yep, we'd go right down, pick it up, bring it back. I don't know if we can go down that yeah. way. Yeah, you can get around the back here. And that's what I was telling you, square backs. This is square back, the little wagons. Okay. These are the older style ones, just because of the taillights, you could tell. Another 412, another 412, another slant back. Let's see if I can back. open this one up. And that same thing, motors in the back. People take these things and they camp in them. They'll throw a mattress in the back and you go for long rides in them. A lot of people, what they're doing right now, the big thing is swapping them out with Subaru motors. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that before. Yeah. Like this one right here, I don't know what year it is, but I have full quarters laying up underneath that thing in great shape. And these all had the vents back here for letting the heat out from the motors. That's Says what they were. PA on it. I am just, there's just so much here. <laughs> it's amazing. And I can then, probably come back here two or three times. Oh, easily. And you probably won't see the same stuff either. Now, these are all the old bugs. This is the oldest stuff we have this here. This is the older, older Volkswagens. Yes. You can tell by these. Okay. It's the They're, all red lights. Yep. The all red lights. These are 60. 65, 66 through 68. Watch your step there, Brandon. Some of these are actually, and unfortunately you can see my name's on this one. Because <laughs> I fell in love with it as soon as I see it. And you can tell by the deck lids. Now, why do you like this one so much? I just love the patina on you it. You like the patina? I would take it and wash it and leave it exactly like it is. Okay. And run it around like that. Now, what is what year was, was this piece? Right 67, here? 68. 67, 68. Yep. Mind if we and when you get, when you get into the, the, the old, old bugs, yeah, you can get around the front. You get in the old, old bugs, this went down and followed the body line Okay. on the old, like, 50s. Now, what year did they start making these? Uh, I believe 46, 46 was the first year. And I don't believe they started importing them to the United States until 49. I like the color of that dash. Yeah, I love that color. That's a, even the blue one next to it. Look at the red knob on it. I mean, it just... Yeah, and this one's mostly all here. Are those Bakelite knobs? Is that what that's called? Or What's that? The knob, the, the texture of the knob, I wasn't sure. I didn't know what kind of material it was. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks like it's ivory, but I, kinda, I know. That's it's, what I, yeah, yeah. it kind of looks like ivory. Yeah, 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 yeah. and some of, the, some of them do have, you could tell the white steering wheels like that. The white steering wheels that are the old ones, they look like the ivory steering wheels. Oh, that one's not white, okay. I wanted to see what the front of this one uh, looks I like. I have one over here with the white one in it. But yeah, this one's got a complete front end on it. The white, the blue one here. And you can tell, like these are all the, this is all the old stuff that he has. This is the oldest of the old stuff that he has here. But you can look how they're packed in, fender to fender. Yep. <laughs> now are the fenders, are they worth a couple bucks at all? Yeah. Or, or the, the, yeah, the, if the bumpers, if I mean? Yeah, the bumpers are worth a decent, bumpers are about two, three hundred bucks. Okay. Brand new. Like if you could find new old stock, you're looking at, Fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred dollars. Now I'm not seeing any like actual VW no, emblems on anything. No, I have a whole anything. I have a whole box in my car filled with nothing but emblems because he took them off because he was afraid people were going to steal them. That's probably what I would say. <laughs> he was even most <laughs> of these doors. Not even going to lie to you. Most I'd of these doors that. are locked on this. <laughs> they are. They're all yeah. locked. Here. Yeah, it's it's strange. Like you got this is what I'm talking about. You got the center tunnel. Okay. This is what you build it off of. You put your pans on that. You could set your bodies right on top of the pans, bolt everything down, you got a bug. And that's why they put the VIN number. Yeah, that's why they put the VIN number right on the tunnel. Right in here somewhere. Yep, it's right in front of that little patch. Oh, right here. Yep. 
Yeah, that's where barely see it, but it's there. Yeah, it's still there, and this is complete. There's now this has studded snow tires. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Well, they, they ran them around up here in uh, northeast Pennsylvania. That is freaking. And awesome. all your weight is on the drive tires, which is great. That's why the Volkswagen was such a useful vehicle. All right, where where to next? Uh, we're gonna take a walk up through the Scirocco section and the Rabbit section up here. Okay. Now this, like I said, this was all filled, packed from this end all the way up with buses. They're all back there now. He moved a lot of stuff. These are the old, old Chiracos here. It is the one of the, like some of the oldest ones I think they made. I'm not positive of that. But this is Volkswagen, this is the Chiraco area, the MK1 area with the round headlights. That's where the rabbits. See, these are cars that I just don't know a whole lot about. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of iffy on them myself. Now, would this have been like an 80s? I think this was 80s, yes, yeah, so early 80s. Okay. Because I don't think, like, we got a lot of MK1s, which are gonna the round headlights, them. which you're looking at right there in front of you, the rabbits. Yeah. I believe those are MK1s. The square headlight ones are the MK2s. And then you just had regular rabbits. There's diesel rabbits in here. There's, uh, you name it, it's here. They're just rabbits in the woods all over the place <laughs> around here. <laughs> they breed like rabbits. If you ever heard that expression, that's here. And one, one or two cars I definitely want to show you, there's a Baja bug sitting here. That one's actually not in bad that shape. That one's pretty cool. Now, yeah. when you say Baja Bug, what they do is they cut the rear, the rear apron off it, put fiberglass fenders, fiberglass hoods, and they jack the suspension up so you can go play in the woods with it. So that is fiberglass. Yeah, yeah, fiberglass hood, fiberglass fenders. <laughs> All the interior is missing out of it, but we ah, have more. Fiberglass thing I do. Oh, yeah, it was just to lighten the vehicle up to get it go through the woods faster. That that's is what they did with them. Neat. Yeah, they jacked them right up. Woo! <laughs> it's fiberglass, <laughs> and it's meant to take a metal hood up in the air. So yeah, that, they didn't change the springs. No, I don't even want. I don't even want to put it down. Yeah, just crack it. Wow, I did not expect that. Now this one has tinted windows too. Yeah, yeah, the old school tint. There's an old Carmen laying down here. I'm not sure what year. The guy keeps telling me it's a '60. 768. It says uh, That's pretty shot. cool. Pretty complete. Caution, do not play on or around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some reason there's a light bulb sitting on top of it. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe it has an idea. I'm not sure if it lights up. That'd be but, a pretty cool bug. Yeah, that's different. There's an old Carmen Guillain down here. That's pretty much complete. That's one of the better ones we have on our property. Okay. And that one's pretty. I don't think I don't would I don't I want to caution to say it's rare because I don't know too much about the Gears. But I know it's definitely older because of those hubcaps. I was gonna say it still has the hubcaps. Yeah, on because it. those big those big hubcaps that come around and they're painted. I don't know if somebody painted those Volkswagen symbols or they came that way. I heard they're special edition ones that have paint, not positive. The black paint? Yeah, the black paint and the Volkswagen symbol. But ninety-nine percent of them didn't have that. And this one, same thing, motor in the back. Complete motor, complete transmission, everything. But it's sitting on the ground, so you know what happens. <laughs> yep. But that one, you can open up the interior on that one. That one's got a full interior in it. I wasn't sure if it was open or if Yeah, it was that locked. side's open. This side, you can't get open. But even like the front end, they're just so cool, these cars. I mean, it's just, it's just a time capsule. It's got the white wheel in there. Yeah. That's how you can tell like, the, the oldness of it. Like I said, I know because of the rims, that's definitely old in the hubcaps. Beautiful, beautiful dash in there. Yeah, about a couple people if the on the back seat folds down. What's that? Does the back seat fold down? Yeah, back seat folds down. This makes it a coupe. Okay. I'd say you get access to the trunk, but you don't because <laughs> there's a motor back there. Well, we'll take a walk up through here. What is that car? That is, is that, a Benz? that is a kit car. That. They make a kit for it. Oh, to make I Make it look it. like a like, make it look like a. Uh, I didn't see the back half, but you're right. It looks. Yeah, yep. I think it's not a Benz. Uh, a Bentley. A Bentley. They make it look like a Bentley. Looks like a. He put that one like on the a... side. He's hesitant about selling it, but the right person comes along with the right amount of money in their pocket. Everything is for sale here. They made a Bentley. There's S another Scirocco there, which is cool. No title with it, but looks like a newer one. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a weird, strange car there. Pretty that, different. That, that thing, I don't even know what you'd call it. 
Well, I think a, a Bentley, Bentley kit. They made a Bentley S2, and that's what this looks like. Yeah. Yeah, they made it to look like the Bentleys. They did a good job. They put the pinstripe on it. They did the two-toned. <laughs> two-toned it. Got the grill up front, the I lady like, on it. I like the lady on the front up here. <laughs> super, super weird. He, he wants to do something neat with this. He think he wants to keep this one for himself. What the back look like? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Definitely different. And there's a group of people out there that love just these things with the things done on them. Well, Larry, I think we've seen it all. And I, uh, I appreciate you uh, being our tour guide oh, on, no on worries. this adventure. I got you. If you guys need any Volkswagen parts, how can they get a hold of you or how can they get a hold of this place? Um, they can get a hold of it. It's called 309 Salvage right now. 309 I would have Salvage. to look the number up real quick. But uh, they can get a hold of me on Facebook, Larry Larry or Ray Ray, one or the other. We're on all the Volkswagen sites. We're on Marketplace. We got stuff listed everywhere. If you can't find us, there's something wrong. Uh, <laughs> Let me see if I can find the phone number real quick. Yep. I know I took a picture of it because I don't know it myself. Area code 570-456-JUNK. Do you mind if we just show them that? Sure. So there's the phone number for the place, 309. Auto Salvage and Recycling Mountaintop PA, 570-456-JUNK. Larry, again, my name is Parker. This is Backyard Barn Finds. I want to thank you on behalf of the audience. You thank you for taking your time afternoon. to come up and see us. Yep. This is great. We'll see you guys on the next one.